Cisco routers and switches can use the SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol to provide information to a server that gathers it and presents it to the network administrator or system administrator. And so let's look at configuring the Cisco, a Cisco router for SNMP. So we have a Cisco router right here. Go ahead and I get logged in. And it's really kind of easy to configure SNMP. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind is that when you are configuring SNMP, the default values, there are community strings, which are kind of like passwords. And these default values for most devices, the public read only, the community string value or password is public. And for the read write portion, if you wanted to be able to make changes and things like that, the read write community string is normally private. So if you wanted to configure a Cisco router so it would work with standard default strings, you could set the read write to be private and the read only to be public, which is really a bad idea because services are written that'll go out there and search for these things. Um, SNMP uses the UDP protocol and so they can just send out requests to random devices and get them to respond and if they find something that responds they can make changes. So that's not really a good thing. Anyway, what we're going to use the unrecommended bad idea community string names so you can see what they are. So um, in configuration mode, you can use the SNMP server command, and you can see there are a bunch of options here. And I can set my community string community to something, and I will set public. Now, public is the read only normally, so I set it to read only. Now I set the read write. SMP server community private read write. And there you go. Now we have made this thing available for people to look at. In addition to normal things like your community string, sometimes you want to have information that you can use to find your router or switch. You can already get the name because um, you can query that from the SNMP using tools like uh, Linux has the net SNMP tools which are nice because you can go use an SNMP get or SNMP walk to get information from this router. Um, sometimes you want to set things like the contact information so I will set that right now. So my SNMP server contact and I just give it a line of information. So mine is uh, Joseph Colton, and maybe I'll get an extension number of one, two, three, four. So you want to locate X by one, two, three, four. And then when they see that, they'll say, oh, that's who it is. And they can call me and get information. Um, sometimes I want to be able to find these devices. So my SNMP server location, it could be in building building one or it could be in maybe some building or maybe it's a room number room one two three either way you store that information in there and sometimes you want to be able to do inventory inventory is kind of nice to do so snmp server and you there's a, a chassis ch chassis id and maybe it's a serial number, or you could put serial number, or you could do something like a some kind of a product ID tag or inventory control tag number. So maybe it's five, four, three, two, one. And then you can query these devices, figure out what the device is, where it is, who to contact, all that information. Assuming you know the community strings which you probably standardize for a location. So if I show my running configuration, I can see that I have all this information right here. I have the 
read only, read write, location, contact, chassis, all that stuff, all in there. And that is how you configure SNMP. Next thing you, know, you need to do is find some tool you can use to get the information from SNMP. And there are a lot of tools out there. There you go.